Thanks, Gavin. My TED Talk is on if mindset can really affect outcome. And before I get into it, I just wanted to ask you guys for a quick show of hands if you ever heard anybody say something like being positive will make you more successful or maybe during a workout, you're not tired, it's just your mind playing tricks on you. You guys heard those? Yeah, it's cliche, we, we've heard it. Uh, so just like you, I expected that you guys would say that, that, that you um, heard those before. Just like you, I heard those things before. And I was a little bit skeptical and I wanted to see if that was really true, if you can change your mind and have outcome be affected. So for me, as an athlete, most of the time, uh, that would be Coach Morton, that would be me, uh, having a trainer who would push me to my limit and then tell me that it's just my mind playing tricks on me and that I'm not actually tired. Um, I was always skeptical, didn't really know if that was true, just because they didn't really give that much um, scientific research or evidence as to if that could be a possibility. So I, I never really knew about that. So with the opportunity to do a, my own research for a TED Talk, I thought this would be a good idea. Uh, before I get into the topic, you guys should know it's actually pretty broad. I didn't know exactly where to go with this, so I decided to break it up into three categories. First one, as a student, being in the classroom. Second, as an athlete, uh, physical performance, that guy right there, and then success in life. Um, those are three categories that I decided to break it down into. So first category um, would be, uh, my, uh, first category is uh, can mindset impact success in the academic field? And um, as I was researching, I ran into a pretty interesting study by Carol Dweck, who is a psychologist and a professor, professor at Stanford. And she formed this idea called the growth mindset, which I think some of you guys have heard is a big thing in psychology today. Um, and basically what the growth mindset is saying is that students who believe that they have an opportunity to grow and improve will uh, show better results long run in the classroom than people who have a fixed mindset, which is thinking, um, I have a problem, I don't know something, I won't be able to learn it, um, you know, kind of, it's pretty self-explanatory, fixed mindset and growth mindset. Um, so uh, Dweck actually had a TED talk where she talked about um, the power of the mind subconscious. And there's a study where for, um, for youth assignments, if you put not yet instead of failed, it would promote the kids to have more of a growth mindset. And in turn, they would feel more confident about getting better and, and learning the, the subject easier later on in life. Now, I know this might sound a little bit too good to be true, so I did a little bit of research on the other side, kind of trying to debunk the growth mindset. And I came across an article by uh, Abigail Beale, who is this lady here. She had an article called, Everyone's Favorite Psychology Theory Isn't All It's Cracked Up To Be. And she was referring to the popular growth mindset theory. Um, she referenced a number of sources that talked about um, kind of why, why the, the effects of the growth mindset might have been a little bit oversold, how um, it's not exactly everything that is cracked up to be, like she said in the title of the article. Uh, she did admit that there, in all the studies that the growth mindset did help, but she was just debating whether or not it was oversold to us as maybe something more than it is. Uh, next category that I wanted to talk about was the athletic field. And I know we all get tired and, and have mental lapses when we play basketball, soccer, or run track, but I, I decided to focus on a sport that maybe pushes us past those normal limits. And I decided to, to focus on long distance biking. And this picture is a picture of a champion. Uh, his name is Jor Rovid. And he won a non-stop 3,000 mile uh, bike race uh, two years in a row, obviously. They have to sleep and eat, but besides that, it was a nonstop 3,000 race, 3,000 mile race, and um, I I found an article that was talking about his team and how they prepared for him to do that and all the training that they did to uh, prepare him to be able to do something that crazy. And one thing that they said that was really interesting to me was that when he says he hits his physical limit, they know that he's only at about 50% capacity of what his body can actually do. And uh, what they were saying here. And the most common theory for as to why this happens is this, uh, I think I can't train if you guys know this from being a kid, it's pretty interesting, but what they said was, um, this is actually an evolutionary theory that for our brains to not 
for our bodies to not deplete all of our energy stores, our brain is going to send messages to our body to make us feel more tired than we actually are in order to um, preserve energy. Now, um, for success in life, obviously there isn't going to be a lot of scientific research to prove that your mindset can uh, affect what happens in life. The, the biggest thing that I came when I was researching was uh, the law of attraction. And this is the idea that that specific thoughts will attract specific outcomes. And it's more something that's taught by like life coaches. And for an instance, um, one that I found was, um, It was Elizabeth, Elizabeth Scott, and she was talking about how the law of attraction says that positive thoughts can bring positive results and vice versa with negative thoughts. Um, it's a little bit basic, and there isn't a lot of scientific research. And while I researched the other side to see if the law of attraction was actually real, there were a lot of people that claimed that it's just a pseudoscience and it's not actually true. But um, one thing that I came to, to realize was that when you have a more positive outset or uh, mindset, um, it will make the things that happen in your life seem a little bit more, um, seem, seem a little bit better because if you have a more positive outlook, what happens in your life will seem to be better. So even if it doesn't actually help you become more successful, it helps you feel more successful about the things that you accomplish. And uh, so uh, kind of to sum it up, does it really work? Academics, I gave it an eight out of 10. The growth mindset is something that works. It is something that helps students. Uh, like um, like Bill said, it, it is a little bit oversold sometimes, so I give it an eight out of 10. Uh, athletics is 10 out of 10, 100% scientifically proven that by changing your mindset and by conquering your mind, you can improve athletic performance. And in life, I gave it a yellow check of five out of 10 because the law of attraction is something that is still debated. It doesn't have a whole lot of scientific research, but like I said earlier, by having a more positive outlook, it will make you feel better about the things that happen in your life and you will feel more successful. Thank you.